It's the night of the senior prom. The Bates High School gym is alive with excitement. Everybody is there, even Carrie White. The girl no one likes. We're all sorry about this incident, Cassie. It's Carrie! And everyone makes fun of her. The girl who lives in that creepy house with her crazy mother. Help the singing woman see the sin of her days and ways. Show her that if she had remained sinless, the curse of blood would never have come on her. The girl with the strange power. If I concentrate hard enough, I can move things. But tonight, no one will laugh at Carrie. If you don't have a date for the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? She's with the best-looking boy in the senior class. He's trying to trick me again. She'll be voted queen of the prom. You know, I can make sure that you don't hurt Carrie White anymore. Yay! For Carrie, it will be a dream come true. For everyone else, it will be a nightmare. No! No! Carrie. No! A new film by Brian De Palma. Based on the chilling bestseller. Starring Sissy Spacek, Piper Laurie, and introducing John Travolta in his first motion picture role. If you have a taste for terror, you have a date with Carrie. Ben Mears has been away too long. And now at last, he's come home. The men fought at Valley Forge. Daddy, come back safe. Home to the childhood memories, to the old familiar faces, to a life unmolested by time. And with your saints, let him rejoice in your presence forever. We ask it through Christ our Lord, amen. Home to Salem's Lot, the town too good to be true. What was that? Did you happen to notice the time when the boys left? We shouldn't have gone through the woods. It's a shortcut. Well, they should have been here half an hour ago. Wait! Danny, wait! Something is happening. Something terrible. Henry! Where's Ralph? Ralph. Where's your brother? Once the kid disappears, then this. You're not leaving Salem's lot, are you? I'm not leaving. Don't you understand what's happening? Do you? Yes, I do. It's in the Marston house. Good evening. I dreamed. You slept there all night? Yeah. A little tired. Didn't sleep much last night. I was dreaming. Somebody out there. Sweet. Sweet dreams. I let him in. Oh, it's only all just happened since... Since I came here. It wasn't a dream. Stop, holy man! You can do nothing against the master. And they're breeding on one another. The vampires are creating vampires. The master wants you. It's a geometric progression. Two times two times four times eight. There's a dead man upstairs. Bill! Yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Look at me. Ned Tebbett's body has disappeared from the morgue. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Bill! <laughs> And Susan's in there! Run! No! Look at him!
Stephen King, the best-selling author of Carrie and The Shining, takes you on a startling journey to Salem's Lot. Nothing that lives in the imagination is more frightening than the terror that lives in Castle Rock, Maine.
if the future were in your hands. My daughter is screaming. The house is burning. Would you change it? Hurry up! Hurry up! It's not too late. Touch this man's hand, and you are in the grip of the dead zone. I've had another episode. Only the imagination of author Stephen King could take you there. Johnny, wait. With a power that alters the future lives of those you love. You want to kill your own son? I want you out of here. I'm scared, Dad. Or of those you fear. I have had a vision that I am going to be president of the United States someday, and nobody... I mean nobody! Gonna stop me. Is it a power for good or for evil? If God has seen fit to bless you with this gift, you should use it. Bless me? You're a devil. Send for me. Who are you? Who sent you? I'm scared, sir. What's happening to me? We're gonna get married. Johnny, don't leave me, please. Didn't you see how clear it all is? Not only can you see the future, I can change it. Delphine! 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 I was there, I saw it. Put your hand on the scanning screen and you'll go down in history with me. I saw his face. I stood there. I did nothing. Johnny! <laughs> Stephen King, The Dead Zone. What do you mean, came back? I'm sorry, Arnie, I can't. I know you're jealous. The kid was cut in half, Arnie. Riot is over. I knew a guy had a car like that once. He killed himself in it. Every child is afraid of the dark, the unknown, the nightmare. In Gatlin, Nebraska, that nightmare is in the corn. <laughs> Stephen King's Children of the Corn. Stephen King, the author of Carrie, The Shining, The Dead Zone, and Christine, an adult nightmare. <coughs> Children of the Corn. I'm here, Lord! I'm ready! <coughs> Stephen King's Children of the Corn, an adult nightmare. soon from New World Pictures. Charlie McGee is a healthy eight-year-old girl, normal in every way. Charlie, now watch what you're doing. But one. Did she do that? What are you gonna do with her? Robert, well, you're here. So you can do all your tests, and you give her to me. Charlie has the power. Do something bad. Please to love me. Oh, Charlie. She can set things on fire. Something's happening in there. With just a glance. It is a power she does not want. Stick with him. Daddy, I'm scared. So am I, honey. A power she cannot control. Back up. And each night, she prays to be just like every other child. We haven't got her yet. We will have. But there are those who will do everything in their power to find her.
to control her. Charlie! And maybe destroy her. Charlie! Come to me, Charlie. Go! You're gonna have to burn it down. I mean, burn it all down. Charlie McGee is Stephen King's fire starter. Will she have the power to survive? Stephen King, your favorite novelist and master of modern horror, has written his first motion picture screenplay. It combines all the elements of his creative imagination. Lovable pets. Classic cars. Quiet evenings. Favorite films. Kill the son of a... <laughs> Good idea. Adorable kids. Help me. It's after me. And of course, a monster or two. Experience a series of electrifying adventures as seen through Stephen King's Cat's Eye. Stephen King's Cat's Eye. It began in May, and every month after that, whenever the moon was full, it happened again. And again. What was that? It's over there. Don't point that at me. Nobody knew who or what was responsible. Come on. They only knew it had to be stopped. Now, from the master of mystery and suspense, Stephen King's Silver Bullet. My name is Stephen King. I've written several motion pictures, but I want to tell you about a movie called Maximum Overdrive, which is the first one I've directed. Wow. What in the dickens is going on around here? A lot of people have directed Stephen King novels and stories. And I finally decided if you want something done right, you ought to do it yourself. Who was driving it? I don't know. Curtis! It's coming after us! It was my first picture as a director. And you know something? I sort of enjoyed it. What is going on? I don't know! I just wanted someone to do Stephen King right. You want a war? You got one. I just want to get the hell out of here. So come and spend some time with me and my friends at the Dixie Boy. Spend some time in the dark. Please don't let us be in the dark. Help me. I'm going to scare the hell out of you. And 
That's a promise. You're going to get us in an awful lot of trouble, man. We already in trouble. Maximum Terror. <laughs> Jesus coming and he is. Maximum King. Maybe tomorrow will be our world again. Dino De Laurentiis presents <laughs> Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. In all our lives, there's a fall from innocence, a time after which we are never the same. It happened in the summer of 1959, a long time ago. Oh, man, where do you hear this? Where do you hear this? What is it, man? You guys want to go see a dead body? When the night has come and the land is dark. We interrupt to bring you an update on the search for the missing 12-year-old Ray Brower. Kid's gone. They're never going to find him. Not where they're looking. And the moon is the only light we'll see. You think Mighty Mouse could beat up Superman? Mighty Mouse is a cartoon. Superman is a real guy. No way a cartoon could beat up a real guy. We're going to be on every radio and TV show in the country. I still don't think we should go. If I can only have one food for the rest of my life, that's easy. Pass. Cherry flavor pass. No question about it. I like to go someplace where nobody knows me. We found him. We got dibs. Oh, we better start running, eyeball. They got dibs. <laughs> the four of us, eyeball. We just make you move. You're dead. For some, it's the last real taste of innocence. I'm never gonna get out of this town now, my Gory. You can do anything you want, man. And the first real taste of life. This is really a good time. The most a blast. But for everyone, it's the time that memories are made of. So darling, darling. Five years ago, Stephen King and George Romero, two masters of the macabre, created their hallmark of horror, Creepshow. Many would argue that nothing of significance has happened since. Until now. Maybe you don't get out much. Oh, this is crazy. This is totally crazy. Maybe you're always running late. I gotta go. Or maybe you just have other things on your mind. They gotta make me a movie star. But if you only make it to one scary film all year, make it one you remember all year long. <laughs> Creepshow 2. If you like movies that will keep you stuck to your chair. <laughs> Stephen King and George Romero have conjured up an all-new Creepshow. No! Is it possible? Just for you. I mean, what is it? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. So don't just sit there. And I'm gonna swim for it right now. Walk. Run. Swim if you have to. I got you! But whatever you do, don't take your time. Because the scares come twice as quickly in... I be you! Creep Show 2. This town is dead until after dark. Welcome to Salem's Lot. Stephen King brought them to life. Vampires. Now. Bring it on here! They rise from their graves again. Dad! Give me my son back! Vampires! As only Stephen King could create them. A return to Salem's Lot. Directed by Larry Cohen. In the year 
2017, an innocent man accused of a crime has a choice, hard time or prime time. Sensational, perfect contestant. I want him. He must pay or play the running man. On your mark. I'll be back. Go! The highest rated TV show in history. I guess they want us to stay. It's a game between life and death. Can you lift? Arnold Schwarzenegger is the running man. He's playing for a prize. The prize is his life. How about the life? The running man. At the edge of the woods, behind the creed's new house, is the old animal graveyard, the place where devoted pets are laid to rest. Daddy, is church all right? What is this place? I brought you here to bury Alan's cat. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him. Why, Judd? I had my reasons. What did we do tonight, Judd? What we did, Lois, was a secret. But some don't stay. May the Lord bless you and keep you. No! May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. You're thinking thoughts best not thought of, Lois. Daddy's gonna do something really bad! That's why no one ever buried a human being out there. You're thinking of putting them up there. Don't deny the thought hadn't crossed your mind. And why nothing ever rests in peace. If it doesn't work, I'll just put him back to sleep. Come back to me, Gage. Come back to us. Paramount Pictures presents... <coughs> Stephen King's all-time best-selling tale of horror. Gage? What did you do? What did you do? Pet Cemetery. Now I'm gonna play with you. <laughs> Stephen King. Originator of Pet Cemetery. <gasps> Arthur Conan Doyle, author of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Michael McDowell, creator of Beetlejuice. <laughs> George Romero, director of Night of the Living Dead. Now, these four masters of everlasting horror bring to the screen four tales of overwhelming terror. <laughs> I warned them, but they wouldn't listen. Tales of diabolical fate. You promised you'd never die! <laughs> Tales of ghastly revenge. Grow, O oh light. Rise, O oh light. Come forth, O oh light. Open his eyes. Tales of ruthless evil. <laughs> that has killed three people in this household. I don't believe this. Kill it, bury it, and bring me its tail. Tales from the dark side. Well, that just about takes care of that, doesn't it? Come live the nightmare of your choice.
Tales from the Dark Side. <laughs> the movie. Stephen King invites you to venture deep inside the caverns below the old Bachman Mill. You're not thinking about going down in there. Where a secret lies long forgotten by any living soul. Just ain't no job worth this. The workers suspected. You can't put me down there. You can't put anybody down there. I know things. The owner denies it. What did happen to the fellow that started this job? It didn't work out. And everyone fears it. This place is infested. That might be the understatement of the year. Broken? Because one by one, it will devour them all. We're like shrimp in an all-you-can-eat salad bar, and that thing ain't stopping till it's full. Oh, God! Must be some other way out of here. Yeah! It's full! This isn't real. This is the new horror from the mind of Stephen King. <laughs> Graveyard Shift. Good benefits, early retirement. died. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in both legs and the fibula in the right leg is fractured too. And as soon as the roads open, I'll take you to a hospital. In the meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. There is nothing to worry about. You're gonna be just fine. I'm your number one fan. My name is Annie Wilkes. I think one of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. You mean Paul Sheldon, the writer? Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. They had it at the store, Paul. They said he checked out last Tuesday. Isn't that a little strange? I guess it was kind of a miracle you finding me. In a way, I was following you. You were following me? Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours, but the misery novels. You must be a good man. You could never have created such a wondrous, loving creature as Misery Chastain. Very kind. The presumption must now be that Paul Sheldon is dead. You dirty bird. How could you? Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Misery spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! You don't think he's dead, do you? And don't even think about anybody coming for you, because I never called them. Nobody knows you're here. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. I know you've been out. Is this what you're looking for? Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. Annie, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. Annie, for God's... Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake! 
It's for the best. God, I love you. From Stephen King, the modern master of terror, creator of Pet Cemetery and Misery, no! comes an all new excursion to the place where horror comes alive. This used to be a nice little town, but for Jim Norman, it holds a terrifying secret. Now, 27 years later, he's come back with his family. But they won't be alone. Live and in person, Mr. Norman. All he wants is a chance for a new beginning. I don't want to dream! You're dead, man. Now, the things that haunt him are about to begin all over again. Norman, Mr. Norman, can Jimmy come out and play? Starting again, isn't it? What's wrong? If someone seems like they're in trouble, <laughs> they probably are. Why are they after you? They killed Billy, they killed Kate, and now they want me. Seems they're here to finish up some old business, and we're part of the plan. Something's left unsettled. Sometimes they come back. Tim Matheson, Brooke Adams, Robert Russler, and William Sanderson. Sometimes they come back. I've been waiting for you, son. From the master of mystery, Stephen King takes you on this summer's most shocking journey. What is wrong with my husband? Something happened to him. When a man discovers there is something more frightening than growing old. You don't look the way you did two weeks ago. You look the way you did two years ago. Growing young. I could disappear without a trace. Who's gonna help us? Stephen King's masterful thriller, Golden Years, premieres Tuesday. From the imagination of Stephen King comes the story of a man. Go! Come on, boy, let's go. Grass is waiting for you. With the mind of a child. Yes, yeah, Cybo Man, he came to see me. Cybo Man? Comics, right? Yes, yeah, Cybo Man. <laughs> and a doctor. Virtual reality holds a key to the evolution of the human mind. With a vision of the future. I have a game in my house that you might like to play. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. really bad. I have different games. I even have one that could help make you smarter. Now, ah! Job Smith is about to enter the world of virtual reality. Ah, it's gonna hit no, me. no, no, Job, just relax. It's gonna be like being up there with the stars, Job. We're going to another planet. His mind is like a clean, hungry sponge. Ah! Just graduated to the next level, Job. <laughs> You're not the one, old man. Well, you've certainly changed. I don't know how you did it, but I approve. I absorbed Latin yesterday in less than two hours. Job, where are you? Job. A world where the normal course of events can suddenly turn inside out. You realize, Dr. Angelo, that my intelligence has surpassed yours. The imaginary becomes real. You're trying to get inside my head, Joe. You can't hide anything from me, Dr. Angelo. And reality... You have no idea what he's gonna do. ...is all in your mind. <laughs> Stephen King. No! The Lawnmower Man. We have 
just witnessed a terrible tragedy. It all began here. We are one. In these fields. We are one. With the children of the corn. We are one. What happened is over, Mrs. Burke. It's over. We are one. Well, a bunch of kids killed all the adults in town. Just your basic Sunday afternoon in the Bible Belt. But the adult's nightmare isn't over yet. People are actually worried about problems with our sweet, innocent children. There's something out there. There's something. It's evil. It's gotten a hold of our children. Did you see what happened? The blood was for the corn. Based on the shocking short story from Master of Horror Stephen King. Have you ever seen evil? It works through the children. This is Children of the Corn 2. He who walks behind the rose commands that we rid the land of all the defilement the corn. I don't want you hanging around with these kids right here. They were adults. We have seen the way of that world, and it is evil. There is a power greater than all, and it is within us. She warned you. She warned all of you. The blood of those that defile the court must flow into the earth. We are behind the rose would allow you to escape. She is the first to be sacrificed. Children of the Corn 2, the final sacrifice. Charles Brady is new in town. You can actually talk to him? Yeah, he's nice. Real nice. The girls all like him. The teachers all respect him. Your teachers in Ohio must have been sorry to lose such a creative young man. The parents all trust him. He's utterly charming. But nobody really knows him. Like his mother. You cannot be in love. You don't know me, Tanya. But I want to. Behind their smile is a secret. Hi. Come in, Doc. I have something for you. I don't know who you are, but I know you're not who you say you are. Behind the secret is a hunger. Does it have to be her? <laughs> and behind it all is the imagination of Stephen King. <laughs> scared of a cat. Hey, what are you doing? Getting things ready for Mom. Mom is dead, Jeff. She doesn't have to be. Something strange. Now, I didn't think much about it until I saw him drag the body out of the coffin. Something ancient. Bury your own. Something evil. Was it your idea of a joke to send me blood from a dead animal? This dog is alive. Not this dog. Something terrifying is happening in Ludlow, Maine. Again. No! Pick up your family and get the hell out of that town! Pet Cemetery 2.
Jeff, honey. Father and I need to talk. Thad Beaumont has a secret. I know all about it. A piece of himself he keeps hidden. You just don't want to give up George. You become attached to him. Locked away until he needs it. These behaviors could be interpreted as schizophrenia. Away from the light, safe in the shadows. I wrote those words, and I have no recollection of doing it. But sometimes, secrets take on a life of their own. Thad Beaumont thought he didn't need George Stark anymore. The American way of death. That's it. He served his purpose. Time to lay him to rest. But George is not about to go quietly. You really don't realize what you like when you write those books, do you? It's like watching Jekyll turn into Hyde. Ah! We're here to question you in connection with a capital crime. Evidence says you did it. George Stark has somehow come to life. Hello, George. I've come closer to believe a ghost story than this. You're talking about a man who never was. No! He wants to take over your life. Can't you see that? Based upon a book by Stephen King comes George A. Romero's masterful vision of a nightmare come true. Are you ready? Just waiting on you. The Dark Half. From the best-selling novel by Stephen King. Haven, a sleepy New England town whose patriotic spirit is alive and well. Tommy knockers, Tommy knockers, knocking at the door. But lately, another kind of spirit has been knocking at Haven's doors. Tommy knockers, Tommy knockers, knocking at the door. Something is happening here. Two disappearances in one week. That's more than a coincidence. All my years in the force, I've never seen anything like it. Something unearthly. It's just gonna change everything. Oh, what's it like, this uh, feeling? Oh, let's experience it together. Something evil. <laughs> Something is happening to you. Something's happening to this town. And I'm telling you, it has something to do with that thing in the woods in there. There are those who believe. We are about to reach the final phase. There's something there, all right. And that something has made the whole town go to hell fast. There are those who deny. Whatever this thing is making you, whatever the hell it's doing to you, it's not good, Bobby. Are you ready to become one voice that will soon be free? There are those who refuse to give in. Shame on you, Bobby Anderson. Shame on you. You've got nothing to fear of. One voice. One, One voice. voice. You're like a vampire. <sighs> you and your, your precious Tommy knockers. From the world's undisputed master of horror <laughs> comes an extraordinary tale of terror. Join us. <laughs> Jimmy Smith's, Marg Helgenberger, Joanna Cassidy, Stephen King's, The Tommy Knockers. Castle Rock Entertainment and Stephen King invite you to visit Castle Rock, Maine, a quiet little town whose population has just increased by one. Do you believe in the devil, Father? I guess I have to. You can't have one without the other. What's he look like? What the hell does he look like? May I take this opportunity to welcome you to Castle Rock on the good Lord's behalf? Why not? So where are you from? Ohio. I've been in this business a long time. And I've learned the pleasure of offering my customers what they really need. He came here to destroy us. Oh, you wish it. There have been two murders and an attempted suicide in this quiet little town. Oh, Mr. Leland Garner's is at the bottom of it. You are disgusting. I like that in a person. Everybody that's got it coming is going to get it now. The young carpenter from Nazareth. I knew him well. 
promising young man now, but he died badly. A famine here, a flood there, a little bloodlust, a broken heart. You can't win. I've got God on my side. things happen. From Stephen King, the master of suspense, comes his all-time bestseller. Containment breach! We've had a major containment breach! Use the manual gate override, Campion! Do it now! deadly virus released by a government mistake. A frantic military willing to stop at nothing to cover up the terrible truth. The so-called super flu does not exist. What did you do? What did you do? do? As the plague sweeps out of control, a nation erupts, society crumbles, the end is here. <laughs> Now, all that remains, the demon, the prophet, and those chosen to survive. Drawn by dreams of an old woman. Be coming along to see me, won't you, Larry? The chosen ones stream to Colorado to find their dreams are real. Help us to be true, dear Lord. Help us to stand. Las Vegas, an army of darkness assembles, controlled by dreams of their leader, Randall Flagg. Go for it. Do it, Harold, do it! It's time to make your stand. The ultimate stand against the forces of evil. Ringwald, Rob Lowe, Laura San Giacomo, Gary Sinise, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Ruby D, and Jamie Sheridan. Stephen King's The Stand. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all the evidence. I submit that this was not a hot-blooded crime of passion. Consider this. A revolver holds six bullets, not eight. That means that he fired the gun empty and then stopped to reload. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back, one for each of your victims. So be it. Send you here for life? That's exactly what they take. I believe in two things. Discipline. Help me, God! And the Bible. Here you receive both. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in 1947. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you can fit right in. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. He had a quiet way about him. A walk talk that just wasn't normal around here. There are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. There's something inside they can't touch. What are you talking about? Hope. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Damn it, dear friend, you're putting me behind. Hope can drive a man insane. You better be sick or dead in there, I kid you not. Better get used to that idea. Oh, my holy God. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Get busy living, or 
getting busy dying. Consider the possibility that the machine might be haunted. That machine killed your daughter. We all have to make sacrifices. Human sacrifices. A demon is a kind of electricity. Sometimes it gets out of control. People get hurt. Three modern masters of horror have just created the ultimate machine. For terror. <laughs> the Mangler. not a trial. This is a preliminary inquest in all cases of death as suspicious in nature. Someone to see you here. I told you I don't want no lawyer. Dolores, it's your daughter. When was your last visit? Fifteen years ago. They didn't kill her. I'm not murder that witch anymore, and I'm wearing a diamond tiara. We need a piece of your hair, Miss Clavin. Take what you want. I ain't doing any beauty pageants this week. That is the last guy in the world you want to make an enemy out of. Motive money. I ain't making one. I'm keeping one. Eyewitness testimony. And what is that supposed to mean? A documented history of threats. You're going to tell me you don't remember him? Selena. We met before, Miss uh, St. John. Leave me alone! I was the investigator when your father died. Maybe we should finish what was started 20 years ago. You, honest to God, don't remember, do you? No! I remember you hitting him! <laughs> You're an old hand at this, aren't you, Miss Clayman? People do have a tendency to take some bad falls when you're around. What did you do to him, Mommy? Why can't you believe my mother? Because she's done it before! You don't believe me, do you? Selena! Get in the house, right now. I am in the house. Academy Award winner Kathy Bates. Jennifer Jason Lee. An accident, Dolores, can be an unhappy woman's best friend. Best-selling novel by Stephen King. Where is everybody? They've gone. They've all gone. Is the plane in trouble, mister? Where is everybody? What's going on here? Across the boundaries of time. Mayday. Mayday. This is American Pride. Flight 29. Requesting emergency aid. <laughs> This is utterly, totally deserted. Air Force Control, this is American Pride, Flight 29. Do you read me, over? Beyond the gateway to another world. We're no longer in our own time, ladies and gentlemen. It's really wrong here. You're all dead. 
Something is waiting for you to arrive. It's coming, don't you understand? Something's coming towards us, rather nasty. They are predators. They are going to chew the eyes right out of your head. They are relentless. The Mangaliers are coming. They're coming for you. And they are very, very hungry. They will eat you alive! Alive and free! Bugs and pesticide, and a four-week period of planning to harvest. Regardless, of this, you're holding a fortune in your hands, Charles. You know this strain could be exported to people all over the world. I need thy help now. Virtual reality will rehabilitate your mind and eventually your body. What is your name? It was Joe. He was a lawnmower man. Till my next door neighbor did some experiments with him and turned him into a genius. I am God here. Welcome to my world, Peter. I found the secret to the immortality of the Chiron chip. The future is now. This is getting out of control. Yeah. I've never seen Joe like that before. You've got to stop Joe before it's too late. And in three days, I'll be in every system in the world. Give me access to all credit accounts. This card is no longer... ATM machines. Department of Water and Power. If he can destroy our world, he figures we'll have to turn to him as the new messiah in cyberspace. Jack into the new world order. Follow Joe. The material world will fade away, and only cyberspace will remain. We came to save you, Joe. 
In here, I am the savior. Reignited. As a boy, he witnessed a terrible crime. She was sacrificed as part of a demonic ritual. Ah! Thirty years later, he has come home. This evil will follow you wherever you go. Mrs. Porter passed away. She was my mother. We're here to close up the house. How long do you think we're going to be staying? But he is not the only one who has returned. Welcome back. You look like you just saw a ghost. She's not like regular people. She's different. Dad, this is Tony. Now, the nightmare's beginning to happen again. I want you to see this time when we do the show. I'm not gonna let that happen. Sometimes they come back again. darkest mystery of the year. You and I both know there's nothing to be afraid of, right? I'm not afraid of anything. Of an evil set upon a small Midwestern town. Grace, I'm hot. It did something to him, the fever. And a young medical student who must solve its mysteries. Whatever happened to my boy, it's going to happen to him. The secret of the force behind the terror will be revealed. I've come for the children. Children of the Corn of Four. The Gathering. Did you weigh yourself? 297. Billy, you were 297 last week. Well, it takes some time for these diets to work. For Billy Halleck, life is sweet. Maybe I gotta rub the Buddha! Bigger is better. I hate it when you do that. No, you love it. And too much is never enough. It's winning! It's winning! You have got to stop eating like that. I can't help it, Heidi. All I think about is food. But tonight, all of that will change. You kill my daughter, and I curse you. Sinner. From the best-selling novel by Stephen King comes the new shape of terror. This diet you're on, what is it? I don't think you'd like it, Henry. You're being erased. Fear the power. That old gypsy put a curse on me. It's all your fault if you hadn't hit that old lady. Beware the danger. This is getting out of hand. This has been out of hand, and I'm just the guy to put it back. Believe the curse. Please, take it off before this goes any further. I never take it off. Stephen King's Dinner. <laughs> More terror. <laughs> less filling.
You might say I'm a collector. I collect rare objects, facts, stories. I travel the roads of America seeking its heart. Do you have a time for a story? no light without darkness, no life without death, no peace without war, no God without Satan. What are you doing, man? I said pull over. I would have broke your neck. You're not gonna wreck us. Oh no? So why'd you call it? Look out! If you can't see the black heart of America, you're either blind or a fool. Follow me and be free! Yeah! Just a man with a tent filled with wonders and a handful of stories in search of a willing audience. Do you have a time for a story? <laughs> one, zero, one, Bravo, Lima. Come in, over. I can't have you sitting in the middle of my runway. Respond, over. are all around us, hiding in nightmares, shrouded in evil, waiting to be unleashed. You shine on, boy. Shine on? The Bible calls it having vision. I can feel it coming off you like heat. From Stephen King, the creator of It, The Tommy Knockers, and The Stand, comes a completely new vision of terror. Seize your destiny, Mr. Torrance. Jack? <clears throat> Coming, sweetheart. Are you gonna hurt me, Daddy? Come down here and take your medicine! Oh, my God. You're never taking my son! This spring... Brandy! Go to hell ah! and pray you get out alive. Rebecca De Mornay, Stephen Weber. Daddy's mad at Mommy! Stephen King's The Shining. Is this scary?
Did I scare you? From the short story by Stephen King, Trimark Pictures invites you to buckle up. You are now entering a town called Lunar. Morning. First time in this part of the cosmos. Looking for flying saucers? <laughs> I don't even want to live in a place like this. Dad, it's too quiet here. Where something strange is going on. Electricity is out for most areas. It'll be at least 24 hours before we can get to you. Can't get nothing on the CB. Phones are out. What's up? Is there anyone driving? Trucks don't drive by themselves. A mysterious force has taken hold. These trucks appear to have an intelligence. They're talking to each other. They're up to something. And the traffic is way out of control. Look out! That man's boy is outside. Look out! Yeah, what's going on? Get away from my son! Now! They got the generator. I think we're gonna be next. Let's get you out of here, I promise. Rocks, a thriller without breaks. Starring Timothy Busfield. It was supposed to be a fun road trip. Ah! Where are we? You're on private property. Town's about a mile that way. Now, they're stranded in a desolate town. You people look a little lost. Is there a tow truck service? Nope. We are also looking for some friends in a convertible. We don't get a whole lot of tourists in here. They've been told to leave. I want you on that 8 a.m. bus out of here. You got it? Hey! Hey! Wait. Okay. <laughs> now what? But someone doesn't want them to go. No! And for them to stay alive, they must discover the secret of this town's dark mystery and look evil in the face. I warn you, Sheriff. Children of the Corn 5. I want to hear about it. Hear about what? Everything. What? Everything. Everything they're afraid to show us in school. Far from the shadow of suspicion, Far from the scene of any crime, Todd Bowden has discovered a secret. If you could let me in for a minute, I just want to talk. Talk? I don't have anything to say to you, boy. You were there. You did those things. I'm an American. You've no right to come here and say these lies about me. I have your fingerprints. I have your photographs. What do you want? I want to hear about it. Everything. Between innocence and experience. To the whole world, I am a monster. And you have known about me all this time. Between curiosity. What did it feel like? And conscience. Lying to judges and reporters isn't as easy as you think. Can you do that? I know I can. Todd Bowden is about to learn a valuable lesson. I wonder if you'd mind if I ask you a personal question. Not at all. What'd you do during the war? <laughs> I know something about you. So many things can happen in between. Each knew something the other wanted to keep secret. The boys ready to come down to the cellar. You're not gonna believe this. If you don't believe in the existence of evil, you have a lot to learn. Todd Bolton, yes, that was his name. He wanted to know everything. That was how he put it, yes. Everything.
characters created by Stephen King. Trimark Pictures takes you on a journey. Just get us as close as we can and we'll drive. Into the icy wilderness. Beyond a blinding snow. Don't move, I'll shoot! Where are the others? Deep beneath a desolate outpost. Suddenly he's reporting back out from the mines. He's found something down there. But he won't tell anybody what it is. You don't want to be out there when the temperature drops. A rescue team searches for an unseen enemy. From now on, we all stay together. It can't be explained. Nothing can survive. Nothing. Nothing living. It can't be escaped. These four points make the size of a larger pentacle. It takes no survivors. Somebody's moving bodies around this place. survive out there, so can I. Between good and evil. Thou shalt see the formless fire. If a demon can complete a circle of eight, he can raise Satan himself. He's coming. The living. The earth shall be shaken. He wants you to go down there. And the dead. Evil shall rule the earth. If you leave us here alone, we're dead. Open it! Sometimes they come back for more. They're just so scary. and I'll go away. From Stephen King, the master of your worst fears, comes a high-voltage, spine-tingling shocker that's been called one of the best King films ever. You wouldn't think there was a big storm coming, would you? Trouble don't cross the reach, ain't that why we live here? Still, they say this one's gonna be something special. A small island off the coast of Maine is bracing for the storm of the century. Look at this. Now, if neither of the emergency shelter setup can handle 300 for three days. Look at there, the mainland. Can't even see the reach no more. At the heart of the storm is a source of evil that will change their lives forever. Born in sin, come on in. My God. That's all right, Robbie. She's waiting for you in hell. Who are you? Give me what I want, and I'll go away. What's your name? Andre Linoge. He was looking at him, like a snake, looking at a bird. What are you doing, sir? You mind telling me? You have something to do with that? Give me what I want, and I'll go away. Refuse me, and I assure you, I can punish. We couldn't kill him. I don't think he's human. What could he possibly want? He's the devil! Don't let him near me. What do you want, Lenoge? That's right. Come on, Ralphie. Never. I don't think we have a choice. Discuss it. Then choose. Don't let him take my son! Storm of the Century. Romeo and Juliet. A tale of star-crossed lovers, pulled apart by their families, by society, and some might say, by fate. Now, why is it that we are so moved by love that ends with separation? I don't know that I believe in it. Believe in what? Love. Who would love her? At your age, it's... Perfectly normal to be afraid of turning out like your parents. Is that scary for you? All your life, you've known that you were different. It must be nice not having to be like everybody else. Sometimes I really wish I could just be one of the shiny, happy people, you know? Come on, this girl's just a skank. You don't even know her. What, and you do? Yeah, I we do know her. Ah! The others don't understand you. At least be seen with someone cool, someone who counts. Maybe somebody needs to teach the two of them a little lesson. And they... Rachel. ...don't want you around. If you want to talk out your feelings... No! Well, to hell with them. So you want to know how I'm feeling today? 
When Rachel was growing up, did you ever see objects move by themselves? What is wrong with this picture? You've heard of Kerry White, haven't you? 73 people died night of the prom. Next semester. Rachel! Terror. Dude, it's her! It's her doing it! Runs no! in the family. The Rage Carry 2. Man, we missed another killer party. For every season, there is a time for friendship. Maybe I want you to stick around. A time for love. Don't be scared. We were destined. And a time <laughs> for terror. Isaac is back. Now is the day of salvation. To fulfill the final prophecy. No! Finish it. Don't be afraid. It's your soul that's gonna burn in hell. I don't have a soul. think if a man sincerely repents on what he'd done wrong, that he might get to go back to the time that was happiest for him and live there forever. Would that be what heaven's like? I just about believe that very thing. John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers, sentence imposed by a judge in good standing in this state. Questions. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? I know violent men. I deal with them day in and day out. There doesn't seem to be any real violence in him. Until he kills a couple of little girls. John Coffey is a murderer. I don't think he did it at all. Take my hand, both. You see for yourself. You're talking about a miracle. I do not see God putting a, a gift like that in the hands of a man who would kill a child. I dreamed of you. We found each other in the dark. Like you dropped out of the sky. Miracles are funny things. You never know when they're going to happen. And when they happen in a place like this, that's the most unbelievable miracle of all. This is the story of a miracle that happened here where I work, on the Green Mile. I don't trust people who move their things in paper bags. Oh, hello, folks. I'm Ted Brodigan. I'll be living upstairs for a while. Where did you live before you came here? Oh, some other place that wasn't as nice as this. You're a very strange person. Shh, tell no one. <laughs> Have you kissed her yet? Yuck. Well, you will, I promise you. And it will be the kiss by which all others in your life will be judged. Is everything okay? Wake up. Ted. What just happened? I know certain things see certain things. Some think of it as a gift, but to me it's always been a burden. So what happens when you touch people? All you gotta do is find the queen of hearts.
And this one here. Might have a job for you, kiddo. I want you to keep your eyes open. For what? The fellows who are dangerous. So what do they look like? Well, they wear dark clothes, dark hats. They're kind of faceless. What they want is me back under their control. Don't worry. I won't let the boogeyman get you. Close your eyes. They're coming closer. Just listen to my voice. I don't want you to go. Tell me what you see. Sometimes when you're young, you have moments of such happiness, you think you're in some place magical, like Atlantis must have been. staff and students of the Royal Collegiate College, a brand new high-tech computer security system, the N2K. What about the security risk of me escaping from this prison? The school is now equipped with an array of sensors and cameras. It's all about Big Brother. I'm so scared. We all need a Big Brother's protection now and then. The Mangler virus. Oh, Mangler, you're my hero. Mangler virus download. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Something strange is going on. Come here. Lay it on me. The computer has gone crazy. You crashed the system. No, it's a trap! He's trying to kill us. that you're planning a scientific investigation of Rose Red this summer, a sort of psychic field trip. Is that true? For Professor Joyce Reardon. My goal is modest, a single twitch. It's time to stop the silliness. The truth is out there. When I come back from Rose Red with proof, you are... It's sleaze. It's a spit in the eye of rational thought. Now, she has assembled a team of gifted psychics. Hello, are, are you the group? I think we're ready to unravel the secret. Waking up Rose Red is not a good idea. Rose Red is a dangerous place. That was built to last. Rose Red was built by John P. Rimbauer. What makes Rose Red one of the world's most fascinating psychic artifacts is that after 1950, Rose Red grew on its own. Follow me, 
and prepare to be amazed. It's so wild, like something in a funhouse. The important thing is not to go off wandering. Where's Annie? If you wanted this place to wake up, I'd say you've been successful. If some houses are born bad... Annie, what is it? I insist you stay a little longer. <laughs> this one... We shouldn't be here! It's feeding off us. ...was created. It's stuck again. She means to have her proof, even if someone has to die for her to get it. In hell. Stephen King's Rose Red. If you know who I am, then you know what I can do. Twenty years ago, her parents were part of a top secret experiment. An experiment that gave young Charlie McGee... Go away and leave us alone. ...a deadly power. A power that would change her life forever. Look at me. Look at me. You are not bad. You're a very beautiful girl. A very special gift. They're dead because of me. A power that would help her escape. Charlie, wait. A terrible evil. Now, Charlie is all grown up. Look who's here. I found McGee. Charlene McGee, I found her. And the forces that created her have tracked her down. I saw you die. No, you saw me burn was far more painful. You killed my father. Charlie, I want you to come back. You're serious? Can a shadow from her past... I was a friend of your family's, Charlie. I was there with him 20 years ago. When Dr. Wanless gave us a drug, and they changed us forever. And a stranger she must trust help her unlock the secrets to her power. <laughs> Let him go. Get out of here, Charlie. After she came all this way to rescue you. <laughs> I don't think so. What makes you think she's a threat? She could produce 20,000 degrees of spot heat in less than three seconds. I'd say that makes her a threat, wouldn't you? Based on the classic novel Firestarter by Stephen King. You are crazy. And you light fires with your mind. Everyone who's ever tried to help me is dead because of me. All I'm saying is that these people can have the cure that you've been looking for. These people? Am I supposed to trust them? What's your alternative? Malcolm McDowell. Some say the world will end in fire. Marguerite Moreau. What do you want me to do, Vincent? Burn down the town? Because that's what's going to happen. Danny Nucci. Get out of your apartment right now. And Dennis Hopper. There's nothing you can do to me that you haven't already done. You're afraid, aren't you? That's good. Fire started. Rekindled. Something has happened at you in high school. Something horrible. Something evil. And one man must find out what it was. See, the going theory is that the three of you conspired to get Carrie White to the prom so you could humiliate her. And then something went wrong and a lot of people were killed. Was it the outsider who kept to herself? Up until half an hour ago, Carrie White thought her first period was home. <laughs> When she was mistreated. You should have told me, Mama. The girls all made fun of me. Did she just fade away? <laughs> Shouldn't people like that be homeschooled? You know, creepy religious people. <laughs> I'm very sorry about all this, Cassie. It's Karen. 
You want me to take Carrie White to the prom? Carrie, based on the Stephen King masterpiece. You see, some people are having trouble believing that you had your boyfriend take Carrie White to the prom out of the kindness of your heart. Reimagined for a new generation. The terrifying story of a girl born of sin. It's evil. You're not going, and that's final. Oh, please sit down and talk with me! Witch. You can't stop me. She finally got her moment in the sun. <laughs> Only to be fooled again. But this time... <laughs> This is nature's tapestry, people, and it absolutely never fails to astonish. Johnny, come on. How many kids are we gonna have? How about our own family on it? Gas explosion. We're still time. Somebody help her! Hurry! <laughs> Your daughter's screaming! Your mother's alive. My mother was killed by communist water fire. I'm telling you, she's alive. So are you saying that you can help the sheriff's department find her strength? I'm going to stand right here. He was watching her. How do you know that? I told you. You could see things. Sometimes these visions take place in the future. Here's the Duddits, our dream catcher. Wish he was here. A circle of friendship. To the Duds. To Douglas Cavell. To Duddits. A web of mystery. Jonesy? Yeah, Beef? You be careful. Be careful of what? A pattern of fear. And where are they all going? It's not where they're going that worries me. It's what are they running away from? Form the design of an alien invasion. I've quarantined the entire area. Nothing leaves alive. I'll tell you what you should be worried about. A hitchhiker. That's been our greatest fear. Somebody who could pass for one of us. You're not Jonesy. These are Americans. The idea of slaughtering Americans just turns my stomach. Come with me, Owen. I'll show you things you wish you'd never seen.
was that? A young bride called Ellen Wimbauer reveals all the horrors. It's Laura Mann. She's disappeared. What? And the murders. You monster. Of the legendary mansion. You will give me a seance. Here, in rose red. I'll be damned if I have to put up with this in my own house. You're damned already, sir. You are a believer. There's more to this place than meets the eye. There will be no more sin in this house. The Diary of Ellen Rimbauer. Thing that matters is the ending. It's the most important part of the story. And this one is very good. This one is perfect. For Mort Rainey, every story is a window into another world. But some windows should never be opened. You stole my story. I don't believe I know you. I know you, Mr. Rainey. That's what matters. You stole my story. Kind of an amazing coincidence. The stories being so much alike. Her death will be a mystery. Call it down, he said. The guy calls himself Shooter. Maybe my name, not Shooter. Hello? Remember my story, Secret Window. You and me are the only people that know about that, right? You scare too easy. You're up there all alone. Anything could happen and nobody would know. What do you want from me? My ending. I want you to fix it. I don't think Shooter's just some nut. I'd like to know what I'm dealing with here. You don't want to know. I will burn your life and every person in it like a cane field in a high wind. The only thing that matters is the ending. The most important part of the story, the ending. I used to think nothing happened here. The truth is, everything happens here. A dark secret. When do we meet your partner? It is on good times. Awakened by a mysterious stranger. I saw a plastic bag in the back seat. Was it little boy size? <laughs> it was head size. This June. I know your name! What about the house? It scares me even to this day. An old friend is coming home. Susan! Life is such a precious gift. I don't know how to stop it. Based on Stephen King's best-selling novel. Let me in, Danny. What's happening to this town? Rob Lowe, Andre Brower, Rudger Hauer, and Donald Sutherland. Salem's Lot. Don't miss two nights of suspense. Beginning Sunday, June 20th at 8. I happen to like it here. Only on TN. Built above the charred remains of a child labor factory lies Kingdom Hospital. Someone there. Look up. What was once buried is now reborn with a vengeance. What are you? Peter. My God. The thrilling top-weighted miniseries. There. Did you hear that? From the haunting imagination of Stephen King is now on four frightening DVDs. No! Packed with exclusive special features. It's like the whole mess is healing itself at warp speed. What did you see, Dr. Hook? I'm 
not sure. Andrew McCarthy, Bruce Davison, Diane Ladd, and Ed Begley Jr. Things have changed here at Kingdom Hospital, and something has awakened. What happened here? Check yourself in to own... Kingdom Hospital on DVD. I'm afraid. Who are you afraid of? <laughs> Hey, thanks for the ride. Oh, not a problem, man. Where are you headed? I gotta see my mom in the hospital. What, is she sick? I honestly don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you. For a man who never escaped his past, nothing is more dangerous <laughs> than his future. Feeling all right? Yeah. You sure? On the road home. <laughs> that didn't happen. A choice must be made. It's time for one of you to die. The choice is yours. A soul must be saved. Don't you want to see me before I die? And his darkest fear. Who's it gonna be? Must be faced. You have to decide now. No, Al, no! no! Death travels fast. Based on the number one bestseller, Stephen King's Desperation. They reopened the mine, the old China pit. Whatever's happening here, I think it came from over there. In the town of desperation. Where is everybody? Disneyland. An evil force. Is there a problem, officer? Has taken over. <laughs> he killed my husband. Killed our little girl. And enslaved a population. Where are you taking me? This is desperation. And don't you forget it. A force with the ability to inhabit man. Something came out of that mine. I think it's an earth demon. Or beast. <laughs> now, their only hope for survival. We have to get out of here. Is their will to fight. <laughs> Trouble with these bodies is how fast they wear out. <laughs> Directed by Mick Garris and written by Stephen King. What in the name of God is going on? There's no God out here. Includes a commentary by director Mick Garris and interview with legendary horror author Stephen King. Kill me if you're going to. Now, why would I want to kill you when things are just starting to get interesting? Desperation. In this town, there are no accidents. Look for it on DVD. brought you the Green Mile, the Shawshank Redemption, and The Shining. <laughs> now, from the incredible mind of Stephen King, journey to a place where reality stops. It's like the town in the Twilight Zone. And imagination begins. Eight mind-bending stories. I won't do another stretch. If you get out this time, you stay out. Don't make me do it! Four hours ago, I killed my brother. <sighs> if you think your dreams are disturbing... <laughs> imagine the nightmares of Stephen King. What are you, some sort of a horror movie guy? No, nope. Clyde, I'm a literary guy. Dreams game.
escapes from the stories of Stephen Kane. You're not going anywhere. You're staying right here with us. Daddy. Everyone dies. When Mike Enslin lost his daughter, the afterlife became his obsession. You probably want to hear all about our haunted history. But after years of searching, he no longer believes. So you're saying there's no such thing as ghosts? I'm saying I've never seen one. Nothing would make me happier than to experience a paranormal event. Gerald Olin, manager of the Dolphin. I can just get the key to 1408. In the 95 years of the hotel's existence, there have been 56 deaths in 1408. 56. No one's ever lasted more than an hour. The first victims to Kevin O'Malley. Cut his own throat. Do not stay in that room. This is it. Hotel rooms are a naturally creepy place. It does have the vague air of menace. <laughs> more than an hour. <laughs> You're gonna have to try harder, Owen! It's not that what I'm seeing is not real. It just ain't as real as it seems. Dress. I'll take him into town with him. Hit the store before it gets all bought out. How'd you folks hold up in the storm? Big insurance day. Sorry to hear that. What's going on? It's death. Something in the mist! Shut the doors! Shut the door! The only way we're gonna help ourselves is to seek rescue. Tie this around your waist. Or four. They'll let us know you got at least 300 feet. There's nothing out there. Nothing in the midst. What if you're wrong? Then I guess that joke would be on me. To take sides. Read the good book. It calls for blood. Guys, I hear something. Are those bugs? Not like any I've ever seen. Whoa. The entire front of this door is plate glass. dimensions. They wanted to try and make a window. Well, maybe your window turned out to be a door. Ah! Who she's gonna sacrifice to make it all better? We want the board. You try it. Kill him! Ah!
case notes, patient N. Reality is a mystery, Dr. Bunsen, and the everyday texture of things. This might have all been, might all still be in my head. 30 is a good number. 15 pair, most days not a problem. 30 is pretty, my little rhyme. 15 is keen. Last summer, I disturbed it 10 months. The reason is what happened in August of last year. I can't flex, there's a gate in my head. Could be very dangerous to me, possibly to others. Then I'm carrying a kind of infection, which I could pass on to you. business trafficking in human beings, usually for the sex trade. Splendid. More like this. And they are ruthless. Ah! Their watchword is intimidation. We can protect you. I waited and I watched. I watched and I waited. He lived in his luxury Vegas condo. But he had a warehouse and operations in Los Angeles. Always in that caddy, which he wore like his favorite suit. I sentence you to life because I know two things. You don't have the stuff to kill me. You don't have the stuff to kill yourself. You'll watch and you'll wait, you'll wait, and you'll watch. Hey, buddy! Buddy, we've had an accident! Oh, I'm, I'm not the help you're looking for, Dolan. <laughs> Kill him. Somebody was watching me. Maybe someone was. We gotta get out of here! Time of judgment is now at hand. What do you want? We come to give you peace. Haven is a fine place to raise a family. But you and I know it is chock full of the ungodly. This man's pretty dead. Tends not to change much. Chief Warnus, this is... Uh... Special Agent Audrey Parker. Oh, it's the FBI. This could be why I thought I recognized you. She looks like you. Yeah, I know. You took my clothes. You saved your life. You must be Duke. Well, is this one of those situations where you're here claiming to help, but you're really just here to step on my toes? Watch out! Not in these shoes. You've heard stories about the troubles. The troubles are back, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. There are two different havens. There's the one that's right beneath the surface, and then there's the one right underneath that. Sounds like every town. 
No one will talk to you about your mother, huh? I don't have a secret password yet. It's what we did. I'm so hot. And not in a good way. It shouldn't be much longer. Um, we both know you have a phone. No, you want me to think it's the kid that's somehow doing all this. You saw the tape. I don't know what I saw. He who walks behind the rose. We don't even know what to watch for. Everything. Try right, and stop us. Someone in this house is psychokinetic, like off the charts. single adult in Gatlin was slaughtered by children. Oh my God, Tim, look out! Brightly beams our Father's mercy from his light house to us he gives the keeping of the lights of the pick you up after school the other kids they think i'm weird carrie favorite poem did you bring one i don't want to be i want to be normal wipe that smile off your face i have to try and be a whole person before it's too late <laughs> No! Help this little girl see the sin of her days and ways. She'd made innocent. The curse of blood would not It's not even in the me. Bible. It doesn't say that anywhere. Go to your closet and pray. No. Pray. No! Ah! Mama! You pray, little girl. You no! pray for forgiveness. Mama! Mama! Concentrate hard enough, I can make things move. There are other people out there like me who can do what I can do. You know, the devil never dies, keeps coming back. You gotta keep killing him. No! I promise next week, you don't have a date already, maybe you wanna go with me. Mama. I've been asked to prom. No, 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 no. They're gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Mama, stop it. If the two of you are planning some kind of joke on a poor, lonely girl... Your king and queen are... everybody for coming tonight through hard work and lots of love my parents have created something very rare <laughs> a good marriage when will you be back it depends on the traffic drive safe bye 
Marjorie Duvall moved here after her divorce five years ago. Miss Duvall's body was discovered early this morning. Elements of the crime suggest that it was the work of the notorious serial killer who calls himself Beatty. You okay? Yes. You're so lucky. I don't know how you do it. And neither do I. This is a lovely home. What may I do for you, Detective Ramsey? She's in pretty bad shape. The nursing home won't take care of her. She's gonna need us close, okay? What's this? That's a conjuring book. It's used for black magic. Folks say that it opens a doorway to something dark and evil. Grim? Death's coming. You can't save me. Your grandmother, she sees things. Isn't it possible that you imagined or dreamed all this? to understand human nature. Run from me, darling. Fear. Murder. You better run for your life. And revenge. And each time I see you. I think it's time, dear. I call oh, freaking payback. Complain. You really don't belong in a place like this. Have a safe trip home. You better run. You better run. You better run. You better run. You're crazy. Run, 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 run. And have to understand human nature. You up for the game today, Big Jim? No, I'm sitting this one out, actually. Where the hell are they taking all our trucks? Over to Westlake, it's parade day. I love you. It's been a fun summer. I'm Phil Bushy, and you're listening to WYBS, The Mills. Only 100% independent home of Rock. Rock. Everyone, when you stop what you're doing and listen, this is not a drill. Cut off all our roads. Not just the roads, the whole town. Our best guess puts the dome at 20,000 feet, sir. Did he just call it a dome? 
You think we might be stuck in here a while? I think that even if what's wrong suddenly becomes right, the army's just gonna quarantine this place. Duke, what the hell is going on? I promise as soon as I have answers, so will all of you. Should we tell them the truth? We're on this together. <laughs> Why Chester's bill? Why us? Maybe we're being punished. We're all on the same side. Let's see who your friends are and who isn't. I, I can't hear you. Looks like we're stuck in a giant fishbowl. I used to have fish, but then one of them got sick, and the other one ate him. something that's gonna seem crazy I need you to go in this closet take a look around then I'll tell you everything that was 1960 I need you to go back there to prevent the assassination of John F Kennedy Am I right? You should be here. If I had my life, I don't know whether Oswald was the man who did it. You'll figure out the rest when you get there. You see, the past doesn't want to be changed. When you're close to changing something, you feel it pushed back. Last thing you can say about killing a man is that it's brave. Mr. Amberson, this is Miss Dunhill. She's starting off. When rules are broken, there's a price. Price must be paid to set things right. CIA's pulling the trigger. What do we do now? Then you kill Oswald. Everything you say is a lie. Are you coming home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon. Okay. It's terrorists, right? It's gotta be terrorists. Don't use your cell phone. We're gonna survive this. People are gonna die. You okay? They act for the good of the group as a whole. They may be the next stage in human evolution. What's happening now is more than temporary anarchy. It's the start of a war. I wanna wipe him out. It's a suicide mission, you're gonna die. I wanna see my son. You okay? Do not withhold your mercy from us, O Lord. For troubles without number surround us. May your love and your truth protect us. For here lies the dead, dust of the earth. Conquers evil. I believe that. Are you coming home? Are you coming home? I just want you to come home. Johnny's voice. No, it's not. You know you that home. is not your son. I just want you to come Clay. home. Clay, no! Thousands of generations.
Egyptians. The gunslingers were knights. Sworn to protect us from the coming of the dark. These visions, as you call them. What do you see? I see a tower. The man in black. And the gunslinger. They're just dreams. They're not real, Jake. There's another world out there. I know there is. Who are you? It's you. You're a gunslinger, right? There are no gunslingers. Not anymore. Why does the man in black want to destroy the tower? The tower protects both our worlds. If it falls, hell will be unleashed. He's like the devil, isn't he? No, he's worse. You can't stop what's coming. Death always wins. Your world might be gone, but mine isn't. If you let that tower fall, billions of people die. Do they have guns and bullets in your world? You're gonna like Earth a lot. All right, let's go. You clawing your way out of the darkness? Did you tell the kid whoever walks with you dies by my hand? I will kill him for both of us. I do not aim at my hand. He who aims with his hand has forgotten the face of his father. I aim at my eye. I do not shoot with my hand. I shoot with my mind. Jake! I do not kill with my gun. I kill with my heart. Do not fear. I woke up in the mountains and couldn't even remember my name. Lock the doors! What was it? What'd you see? We can't stay here. We gotta go now. I believe this is Judgment Day. Your God's not here. Arrowhead, Arrowhead, do you copy? I felt something. What do you feel? That it knew me. Did you hear something? That's what it does. It screws with your mind. Now Mother Nature's had enough. There's something in the mist. When you're a kid, I think the universe revolves around you. You think that you'll always be protected and cared for. Then, one day, you realize that's not true. Because when you're alone as a kid, the monsters see you as weaker. You don't even know they're getting closer. No! Until it's too late.
grandfather thinks this town is cursed. That all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing. An evil thing. I saw him too. What happens when another Georgie goes missing? Or one of us? Are you just gonna pretend it isn't happening like everyone else in this town? If we stick together, we'll win. Yes, really good. That's a marriage, isn't it? Working on the difficult things. For better or worse. Let's go in, get comfy. I bet you think your husband will be back any minute. I'm trying to go for help. There's no one for miles. I'm Gerald? I'm sorry, baby, you don't get to know my name. I don't like this. I'm serious. Stop. I don't like that. Like, stop it! Are you playing? Is this really what it takes these days? Oh, I don't know. We were so wrong. We were happy once. Where were we? Gerald? What? What's oh. happening? Oh. Gerald! Five hours you've wasted screaming for neighbors that are half a mile away if they're even here yet. How long do you think someone lives without water? That will not work. You can pull till your wrists break. You're not getting out of those cups. Not real. Yeah. Little baby, don't say a word. Focus. You've been sleepwalking since you were 12 years old. That's a beautiful dress. He put you in those handcuffs way before Gerald did. You're all right, you're all right, Mom. You did everything you need to survive from the beginning. You just have to remember. Back off! If you don't wake up, you're gonna die. In 1922, a man's pride was a man's land. And so was his son. My wife, she wanted us to leave all this behind. We can move. The cities are for fools. We divorce. We both know that's what you want. Life is rarely fair, especially out here. And I believe that there's another man inside every man, a conniving man. I'm gonna sell. You and my son are coming with me. This is our house. In 1922, I murdered my wife. Ooh. 
Come on, glass of lemonade, Sheriff. Can I look in the house? She only took the one suitcase. Woman have to be crazy to leave a nice house like this one. I read it somewhere. You need to find some sort of purpose. <laughs> Greetings, detective. Did you catch all the bad guys? I believe I've been contacted by the Mercedes killer. Why is he just waiting there? Of all the cases for you to obsess over... 16 people died! We're meant to just forget it! I'm still on the case. You're meant to forget it. You're retired. Brady, frankly, you come across as just plain weird. Chaos. I never know whether to be excited about what's going on in that basement or worried. You don't need to worry, Ma. I'm taking care of us in that basement. I had a letter from my new pen pal. What kinds of things is he saying? You failed. This guy's really trying to get into your head, isn't he? Having bad thoughts, detective. Right! I'm always awake. <laughs> I think your training had caught. It won't be by you. This is our guy, 100%. Can't be all work and no play, honey. You need a little fun in your life. The virus needs to be eradicated. I'd hope to be better at this. Now I'm just gonna kill you. Every cop gets when they just can't shake. This is mine. Me, people? No. I don't know, I just felt like we were being followed. I think we're on the deck of the Titanic or something. Who's in there? I bet you'd kill to have a normal life. Yeah. You should just take your little circus of crazy and hit the road. There's someone in this town. She's gonna do something terrible. Get my son as far away from here as you possibly can. You're the only thing that matters. You always will be. Who's there? Young man, who are you? What's your name? I got no records of you. How'd you get inside this prison? Who put you down that hole? What brings you home? I got a call from Shawshank. 
found a kid in the cage. Call from who? Don't know yet. Has it begun? There's a place where lovers go to cry their troubles away. And they call it People say Lonesome Town. Every inch of this town where the broken heart stays is stained with someone's sin. I always thought the devil was just a metaphor. God help me, I did. I'm telling you, there is something wrong with that kid. What's happening here, do you? I can learn to forget. So many trees. It's beautiful, right? It's definitely not Boston. Here we go. Okay, so what do you think? Wow. This whole place is ours? I even got him to throw in a whole forest as a new backyard. It was a myth. Kids used to dare each other to go into the woods at night. power of that place. They feared it. Those woods belong to something else. The ground is bad. Maybe just some crazy folk tale. But there is something up in those woods. There's something that brings things back. Sometimes dead is better. Something happens to you when you leave this town. The farther away, the hazier it all gets. But me, I never left. I remember all of it. We made an oath. I swear. If it isn't dead. If it ever comes back. We'll come back to We didn't stop it. Pennywise. The clown. <laughs> we can't let it happen again. Seven years, I dreamt of you.
you. I craved you. I missed you. We need to finish it. For good. I've seen all of us die. It consumes us from the inside until we don't have a choice anymore. You lied. You know it's okay to be scared, right? Are you gonna tell me what this is all about? Yes. Yes, absolutely. You've killed before. You killed again. I see what you did there. There are things in the corners of this world. Help me! They'll drive you insane. A new generation of horror has risen from the dead. the way it's supposed to be. Help! I'm lost in here! Did you hear that? Someone out there? about this. I think we should head back to the road. Becky? Travis? Who are you? What's going on? I came looking for you. What? How did you get here before us? I don't know. My boy, he's lost in here too. This is nuts. It's only a feel. What's happening? Hey, you went the other way. No! I'm never gonna find her. <laughs> you can find things. But it's easier once they're dead. How long have we been here? I'm not sure. That sounded like me. This field doesn't make any sense. I name one thing in here that does. Just chance. We're all here for a reason. Oh my god. It's grass. It's just grass. was a place a dark place they called
closed it down and let it rot. But the things that live there. Hello, Daddy. They come back. How many ride the bus this far north? You're running away from something? I'm running away from myself, I guess. Hi. You can hear me. You're magic. Like me. I don't know about magic. I always called it the shining. The world is a hungry place. A dangerous place. These people, they hurt people like us. These are the devils. They'll eat what shines. And they noticed that little girl. Wow, hi there. Get out of my head! Get out! I haven't felt power like that in so long. They're coming. Going. There's a place. You sure you want to do this? I'm ready. Yes, you run, dear. And then I will find you. And you will scream for years. Come play with us forever and ever. Terrence Maitland, I'm arresting you for the murder of Frankie Peterson. For the what? I'm as baffled by this conflicting evidence as you are. His prints are all over the crime scene. The TV footage puts him 60 miles away. He can't have been in two places at once. You know me. I didn't kill that kid, Ralph. Do you see how strange this is? What would make someone do such a thing? He didn't do it. I have no tolerance for the unexplainable. Well, then, sir, you'll have no tolerance for me. Answer me this. Do you think Terry Maitland killed that boy? If he didn't do it, someone else did. Someone else did. Someone else did. Jessa. <laughs> 